Hello folks, welcome to Lexi IAS. In today's video, we will be looking into Mahakal Loop Corridor Inauguration. Okay, let's have a look into it. Now, let's watch this video of PM unveiling the Mahakal Loop Corridor. Okay. Now let's look into the news. Now we just saw a video where our Prime Minister was unveiling Mahakal Lok Corridor. First thing, what is this? Or who is this? Mahakal is nothing but your Mahakaleshwar, okay? Which means Shiva, okay? Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated, okay, Mahakal Lok Corridor. That is Shiva, okay, Lord Shiva. Something related to Lord Shiva, okay, alright. This much I've seen from that, okay. Just look ahead. PM Modi to inaugurate Mahakal Lok Corridor today, Ujjain Dekta. So where are they doing this? In Ujjain. Next, look at this. Ujjain Mahakal Corridor Inauguration, PM inaugurates phase 1 of Rs. 856 crore. So this entire project, okay, is of budgeting 856 crore rupees, okay. And this is the first phase, whatever they did now, whatever we saw the video, that is of the first phase, okay, alright. Now, look at this. A nation achieves glory when it takes pride in its heritage, says PM in Ujjain. Now, Prime Minister, okay, has gone to Ujjain, okay, unveiled, okay, a, or renewed temple corridor. Okay, so what does this mean? What importance does it have? Our Prime Minister has laid stress on having cultural unity, all right, cultural integrity and following cultural diversity. Okay. When we follow this, the diverse nation of India will progress. Okay. Rather than us having the colonial shreds of mentality where we were made to feel our culture was inferior, was having a lot of religious semblances rather than scientific, okay, vigor. Yes, there was a time where we lacked on scientific vigor, alright. But that just did not define India's culture, India's tradition. Now is a time, okay, we are progressing with both advancement in scientific vigor as well as our cultural uniqueness, cultural distinctiveness, okay. Now, this is a phase that will make India, okay, unique. When he says, shed your, seen your 75th Independence Day, okay, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was seen saying that, okay, shed your colonial traces of mindset. We have to shed that in order to move into a new direction. Okay, now this new direction, India has to, by 2047, become a developed nation. And by that, we mean a new India, a new India, with a strong linkage to its cultural diversity 
and alongside its scientific developments okay that makes the new india a very sustainable india all right let's look in see look at the articles these are the tweets okay as to what were the developments of this event all right now this is the speech of narendra modi on your independence day all right look at it here prime minister narendra modi on monday asked citizens to shed all traces of colonial mindset pride in roots all right stay united okay collective national efforts to make india a developed nation by 2047 okay thus making india the new india unveiling this what does it mean okay how does it have any impact okay what is this particular thing called it is called as jyotirlinga the place where mahakal or mahakaleshwar is there in ujjain okay it is considered as one of the shrines okay one of the most important places related to the jyotirlinga or shiva now what are jyotirlingas all right now let's look at the legend there is a saying that brahma okay and vishnu they were fighting amidst themselves okay as to who is more supreme who came first and all then arises shiva all right he blasts open a column or a pillar of pure energy okay and he tells them find out okay find out which is the beginning or which is the end okay indicating in this form of pure energy okay the column containing pure energy no one could find out the end or beginning indicating okay this particular representation where neither the ending nor beginning could be found out became a symbolism of your jyotirlinga okay next so how many jyotirlingams are there in india there are about 12 jyotirlingams in india one is in mahakaleshwar we just inaugurated that in ujjain in madhya pradesh okay now let's take a look ahead now these are the different types of jyotirlingas in the 12 shrines important or related with lord shiva okay mahakal jyotirlinga who is say the lord here is mahakaleshwar yes see in the previous one we have all the jyotirlingams right now one significant part of the jyotirlingam in mahakaleshwar is that it the direction okay the direction in which the lingam is situated is in the south direction okay indicating okay this is one thing unique about mahakaleshwar jyotirlingam in madhya pradesh or ujjain okay thus earning the name dakshineshwar okay or dakshinapate okay because of the dakshin means south the lingam the jyotirlingam is situated towards the southern direction okay now compared to the all other okay all other jyotirlingams one thing about mahakal is that it is self sustaining okay it was self created all right and then when you say self sustaining it doesn't need okay as the mythology or legend states it doesn't need mantras rituals or any such things to sustain mahakal is nothing but pure form of energy all right which sustains on its own okay this is one significant thing about your mahakaleshwar jyotirlingam all right now where is this mahakal temple located it is located on the river of river shipri okay now here huge amount of see as we said the shrine is one of the very most important ones related to lord shiva okay and it is one of the 12 jyotirlingams present which means they have huge amount of gathering 
people from all around come to visit this event all right so indicating the cultural aspect the cultural roots okay gives us cultural pride and this in turn okay is the mindset with which we have to carry to the new india okay we are pride we are proud about our history and we make advancements in science and development everything okay we are up and hand in both these aspects coupled with other aspects all right now what are the features about mahakal temple see it is a five story building okay now one of the stories pay the shrine the main shrine the way it is situated is that in between is lord shiva okay in the northern direction is goddess parvati okay in the western direction is his son lord ganesha okay in the eastern direction is lord kartikeya okay in the southern direction is nandi or bull okay now there is a mythology as to how did shiva come to ujjain see even in today's tweets if you see about the prime minister or about the other ministers who are saying praises about or who are singing praises about today's even say that lord mahakaleshwar's blessing will be on everyone okay so ujjain is called city of the god okay now it is said that okay there was a king ancient times there where he was to go and pray to the shiva lord shiva's shrine okay there was a young guy who also wanted to come and pray with the king but apparently he was not allowed to so what happens he just walks away and he goes to a forest from the forest he hears from a demon that the opposite enemy kings are going to come and attack the kingdom so now he runs to the temple he, he starts praying he starts praying to lord shiva telling that the kingdom should stay secure okay the kingdom should stay secure overhearing this is the priest who also starts praying to lord mahakaleshwar or shiva okay telling that the kingdom should stay safe and secure now the enemy king attacks and is almost about to conquer okay he is almost about to conquer the kingdom in that time lord shiva okay comes in and saves the kingdom okay thus it is said that lord shiva himself came to save this place or lord shiva himself came to ujjain all right to safeguard that place thus his blessings will be spread throughout so it is said that the first blessings of shiva radiates from ujjain okay that is the myth or legend associated with this place all right now about mahakaleshwar temple or about the myth or legend associated is it mentioned somewhere else all right one such thing is your surya siddhant according to which it says that okay our tropic of cancer okay or meets 0 degree meridian okay at ujjain okay making it the first source of energy now whenever still in today majority parts okay when a child is born okay it is calculated based on astronomy okay our indian version of astronomy birth cycle sun cycle lunar cycle those are all calculated on a particular event that is taken this as a source okay this forms our version of astrology astronomy okay now with this about the temple okay it is also mentioned in meghadutam right meghadutam is written by your kalidasa okay the mention of the temple the legend is also there in kalidasa all right now this is where the observatory is located in ujjain all right where we said that we observe the passing phenomena all right it is called as vedashala okay next see when we said it is one of the most 12 important shrines is there something else specific to that place or location all right one such is your mandu 
महेश्वर और महाकालेश्वर ओंकारेश्वर ऑन थ्री पॉइंट्स दी गोल्डन ट्रायंगल हियर एक्सटेंडेड वर्शन इज हियर दिस फॉर्म्स दी गोल्डन ट्रायंगल ऑफ मार्वेल सी दिस माइट बी अ सिंपल अनवीलिंग ओके दिस माइट बी अ सिंपल अनवीलिंग दिस कुड हैव अ रिलीजियस ओके दिस कुड हैव रिलीजियस टेंडेंसी टुवर्ड्स इट इट इज अ रिलीजियस थिंग हाउ इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट सी वन थिंग इज इट फॉर्म्स अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर कल्चर ओके इफ इट इज फॉर्मिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर कल्चर इन अ कंट्री ओके इन अ वर्ल्ड दैट इज रनिंग बिहाइंड ग्लोबलाइजेशन वेर इज देर इज लॉट एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ आइसोलेशन दैट इज हैपनिंग वी से देर इज लॉट ऑफ कनेक्टिविटी बट देर इज ऑल्सो सोशल आइसोलेशन हैपनिंग येस देर इज कनेक्टिविटी हाउ डिजिटल कनेक्टिविटी इज देर ओके बट सोशल आइसोलेशन इज ऑल्सो देर वी आर वन सच जनरेशन वेयर वी आर कनेक्टेड बाई डिजिटल ओके Digital connectivity and social isolation. This is the double-edged sword we stand on. Okay, amidst this, if we have to sustain our culture, if we have to sustain, okay, our development, whatever we call new India, that has to happen both scientifically, okay, that also has to happen culturally. For that, these things. whatever we unveiled mahakaleshwar that this all this our culture we take pride okay during the period of independence okay let's say around after 1857 1858 there was 1857 was a sepoy mutiny 1858 a lot of changes took place okay post this and before this there was lot of social reform movements right they tried to give us a boost as to okay let's discard certain things which are social evils like untouchability sati okay etc but let's also take pride in the culture india is a land of diversity it is a land of heterogeneousness coming to form one homogeneous compound okay this combined with this will only provide us the new india or the direction this will serve as a guide this will serve as a light for the path we are paving okay If you like our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it along with your friends thank you